Hello friends. We shall talk today about the a new classification for male urethral structures. Let us first of all talk why do we need any classification for that matter? You need a classification to determine the disease course. You need it to determine the choice of treatment and you need it to predict outcome of treatment. Now all these three you should be able to compare with other centers in the world. So if all centers are following same classification in their patients, then one can pull in the data and have a scientifically meaningful output out of that. In the year 2020, a group of urological surgeons formed a group called Trauma and Urologic Deconstruction Network of Surgeons, TURNS, and published this classification, which is known as LSE classification system. This classification utilizes three clinical methods, the clinical history, clinical examination and retrograde urethrogram with or without voiding cystoeurethrogram. Now for those strictures which are possible, by which I mean you instill contrast from the external urinary meters, it passes through the stricture and goes to the proximal normal urethra. Then there a retrograde urethrogram is enough. But if you think for somehow for some reason, the information about the urethra proximal to stricture is not available in retrograde urethrogram. You have to ask for a maturating cystoeurethrogram or voiding cystoeurethrogram. So that is why plus and minus. And then, having used these three methods, you come at three parameters. L stands for length. S stands for segment location and E stands for the etiology of structure. Let us see these points in detail. What is the meaning of the length? The length is further subdivided into 1, 2 and 3. And this is on the basis of the length of the structure. This is less than or equal to 2 cm. This is 2 to 7 cm and this is more than 7 cm. When we tell you about measuring the structure on retrograde urethrogram, you have to either use DICOM scales given on the film and then if you see this structure or for that matter this structure here from this point to this point If you see this structure, then you have to measure it from where the cone starts, from this point to where the cone ends here. So between these two points, you have to measure the structure. Similarly, in this film, the structure measurement will begin from here and up to here. And this is the length of the structure. In this film, you have to begin from here and go up to here and this is the length of the structure. So, in measurement of structure, include the cones of urethra at both ends. So, next is the segment of urethra, the S, which means which part of the urethra is involved in structure process. Is it the bulbar urethra or is it the penile urethra? If you see bulbar urethra for a while, it is further subdivided into 
वन ए इन वन बी इन वन ए द डिजिटल बल्ब इज ओके इफ यू लुक एट दिस पिक्चर हियर द स्ट्रक्चर इज प्रेजेंट ओनली इन दिस पोर्शन द डिजिटल बल्ब इज ओके वाइल इन दिस पिक्चर इफ यू सी द प्रोक्सिमल बल्ब इज ऑल राइट एंड डिजिटल बल्ब इज इन्वॉल्व इन द स्ट्रक्चर प्रोसेस the other segment of urethra is spinoid and here the importance has been given to the involvement of the meatus and fossa navicularis in spinoid urethra 2a means something like this the pino bulbar the bulb is involved and the spinoid urethra is also involved in 2b only pineal is involved but the fossa is not involved fossa is normal in 2c you can see the meatus here the structure is in the pineal urethra but the fossa navicularis and meatus is also involved in 2d you will see that there is structure only in the fossa navicularis or in the meatus meatus from outside will look like this and this is a wording picture entire urethra looking all right it is only at the meatus you see that structure you see a thin stream so this is s bulbar and pineal bulbar divided into 1a and 1b and pineal divided into 2a b c and d you need to remember this and once you start using this in your practice you will know all about this the s part the segment part is further elaborated as s modifier where means if you apply x this will mean that the structure lumen is completely obliterated such as as you see here you see branch ulcer and total occlusion the next is m multiple structures are there but then two structures should be managed by different methods say the kind of picture here that this structure required mucosal graft urethroplasty and this structure required oiu so there are multiple structures in a patient both structures are managed differently then there is a p p means the structure is extending into posterior urethra and this is sometimes seen in post urp structures post prostatectomy structures so the posterior urethral extension is abbreviated as p so when you specify the segment of urethra involved you will also specify x m p in this manner the third comes the e of lse and the e is the etiology of structure the etiology means the there are six etiologies given here the first is external trauma second is where you do not know anything about it idiopathic third is iatrogenic and iatrogenic is further subdivided into a b and c a is infection as a cause of structure b is open surgical injury which means some urethroplasty has been done and c is radiation injury the fourth is infection fifth is post hypospadias reconstruction and the last is lichen sclerosus so this is simple to apply to the on the basis of history taking and the information on the patient you can always know what is the etiology of structure so the current classification today is lse classification i hope you have understood this classification and shall be in a position to use this in your day to day clinical practice if you have any questions about this you can put me on my email Thank you very much.